I am back with my August favorites. I have a lot more than I have had the past few months, so I'm going to jump right in. I do want to say that um, I am officially, okay, I feel like my grandmother who like didn't want to get rid of her rotary phone because she was scared to use an answering machine because she had no idea how to do it. That's how I feel with Snapchat. But technically, I'm officially on Snapchat. I still have a lot to learn. I am an old woman, um, and I'm just not like up to date on everything. So I'm still learning Snapchat, but I put my official first story, I guess that's what they call it. I feel like such an idiot up this morning. I don't know how like consistent I'm gonna be able to be with it. I'm really busy, but I'm gonna try my best. Let me know if you even care that I'm on Snapchat. And like, if you're interested in seeing anything from me, let me know what it is, because um, right now it's just gonna be random stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get into my August favorites. Again, I had a lot of stuff this month, but it's little stuff, so it's not taking up too much room on my counter. The first thing I wanna talk about is something that I featured in a haul as well as a blog post. And it's the Sigma Aura Powder. I got a set of three, but this one is by far my favorite in the set, and it's called Core de Rosa. And it's just this beautiful, I don't even know how to explain it. It's very, very neutral. It's almost like a terracotta, yeah, like a salmon terracotta color. It's matte, it's pigmented, but it's not so pigmented that you're gonna have to worry about looking like a clown. It's just absolutely spot on beautiful and I feel like will work for any skin tones up to tan skin tones. Past that, it might not show up, but it's so beautiful, so, so beautiful. They do sell these individually, so if you don't wanna buy the whole set, I highly recommend Corda Rosa. Okay, this next, these next two items I do have on my face today. Um, this one is a little sample and it is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I know everybody's talking about this. I got this um, as one of those like free perks uh, with a $25 purchase on Sephora. And it's quite a bit of product. However, I am almost out of it. I've used it that much. It's in the color L11 Neutral. And, you know, I was really scared about this at first because Kat Von D and her complexion products somewhat is known for being like heavy, um, made for oily skin. And I was just kind of like, oh, I don't want something heavy under my eyes. But it is so blendable. It is so, like, I want to say full coverage because I have a lot to cover up under there and it does fine. Um, and it does not crease under my eyes and I've got some crepey under eyes. So I highly recommend this and I will be repurchasing a full size probably in the next couple of days. This next thing I have mentioned in a favorites before. I know I have, but I'm going to mention it for a different shade in the palette. This is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette number four. It's her five pan eyeshadow palettes. And this is, doesn't have a, a name. It's just the number four. But again, I've shown it before and it's just the one with these really pretty, my lighting up close is really bad. It's got like a very pretty gold shade, which is what I have had it in my favorites before for. But this time I'm doing it for this shade right here, which is called Aura. Okay. And it's the number 25M. They do sell these individually. So if you're interested in buying this individually, I have this on my brow bone today as well as my inner corner. Oh my heavens, it is the most intense inner corner brow bone highlight I have come across in my collection so far. It trumps Thunderstruck by a landslide. It's just so pretty. It's really pretty on the lid, but I tend not to go too heavy with it because it is so, so pigmented and in your face bright so sometimes i'll just pat it like on the middle of my lid just to give like like a pop of highlight but i've been using it religiously like every single day in my inner corner and brow bone. i only have one more makeup thing and then a perfume and some randoms um this is a lipstick and it is by mac which duh i love mac lipsticks but it's the color peach stock and it is a satin formula satin and amplified are my favorite formulas from mac mac um it is very long wearing and I just, I have not found a peach that I really like better. And it's hard to come across a good peach lipstick, I feel like. I don't want it to be coral and I don't want it to be like nude, nude. I want it to be peach. And considering this is called peach stock, it's pretty accurate. And I love that. I love topping it with my Bare Minerals Far Out Gloss, which really should be in every favorites because I use it every single day on top of 
every lip gloss or every lipstick that I use. I have it on today over MAC Viva Glam too. It's just so good. But again, the peach stock is also very good. Um, I would not, I, w I mean, I guess it would go up to like deep medium to deep undertones, but obviously the deeper and darker you are, the more concealer-ish it's going to look on your lips. Okay, so this is not a makeup item, but it is beauty related and it's a new fragrance. And I will say that it's, the packaging is a little over, over the top for my taste because I'm just not like a roughly poofy ball type of girl. But this is the Ariana Grande Ari Sweet as Candy Perfume, which is what she just launched this month, I think. Um, I have not smelled the original Ari perfume, but I'm a sucker for sweet perfumes. In fact, I don't have any perfume on today, so I'm going to put some on. Um, I like smelling like a bakery. I mean, that's just my personal preference. There are some non-sweet perfumes that I do like, but as a whole, I um, love sweet perfume. So I bought this um, online, Sight Unsmelled. I had not smelled it before. I had not smelled the original before, but I took a chance and I'm so glad I did. It is very sweet. I heard someone say it sound, smelled like s'mores. It doesn't really smell like s'mores. It just smells sweet. Now, some, some may say it's a juvenile scent, but I'm okay if I smell like a 12 year old because Lord knows I don't look like one. So why not smell like one? I just really like the sweet scents. If you are like that and you like Juicy Couture or Prada Candy, um, stuff like that, scents like that, I think you'll really enjoy that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I have four brushes this month, which a lot of months I don't have brushes at all. So let's start out, let's start out with this one. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This is by no means a new brush, but I will say that I have a few of these. This is my personal one. My favorite way to use it on myself is with my Chanel Universal Cream Bronzer. And a lot of people don't like this because they feel like they can't find the right tool to use with it. And I feel like this is perfect for it. Um, I am going to showcase how I use this in an upcoming video, but it's so wonderful. And for my non-personal use for my kit, I really enjoy using this for my very oily clients. I don't like using a wet beauty blender on very oily skin because it just kind of defeats the purpose. You're putting moisture on top of moisture. Um, it's just too much. The makeup can tend to slide off. So I really love buffing it in, but I'm not a huge fan of makeup like foundation brushes. And this by far is the best. So just for, it's very inexpensive. I think it's like $9 at Ulta and they are always buy one, get one 50% off or some sort of deal like that. If you don't have this, I highly suggest picking it up. The next brush kind of goes along with the cream contour theme that the other brush had. This is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. I used this in my last video, the Anastasia foundation video um, to buff out my contour stick. That is what I love to use this brush for. I honestly don't enjoy it for foundation, but because I don't love brushes for foundation, if I'm gonna have to pick one for foundation, it's gonna be this one. This though is so perfect for blending out cream contour. It is the one brush that is 150% perfection to use with my Giorgio Armani Liquid Summer Drops. And I love the other end because I can apply the cream or the liquid where I want it and then turn it over and buff it out with this side. It Cosmetics has very high quality brushes. They may be a little expensive, but when you know you're gonna, they're gonna last a lifetime, it's worth it. Okay, the next two brushes are from Morphe. One of them is from a newer line and one of them is not. This one is the Morphe E2 and it is from the new Elite 2 collection. And it is just a very large, powder brush. I don't even know what they technically named it on the website, but it's, I mean, it's a powder brush. It's a fluffy powder brush. They are very, very, very soft. Um, apparently the new rose gold ones are even softer, so I'm probably going to have to try those out. But I don't use this for powder. I use this for bronzer, and I love it. Now, my other favorite bronzer brush, as you know, is my Bobbi Brown bronzer brush. If you want to compare the two, they're about the same size. This is much more dense than this. So I like to use this for my really pigmented bronzers, the ones that I don't want to like put stripes on my face with because it can happen easily with the ones that have a lot of pigment on it. 
And then this one I like to use with bronzers that aren't as pigmented and that really just, I just want to blow out my bronze. I'm not going to do a contour. I'm not going to do anything like that. I just want to blow out my bronzer on my face. This is perfect for that. And it's so very soft. A couple examples of bronzers that I really like to use this with is my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer, which comes in this very large pan like this, and my Laura Mercier Ritual Bronzer. Both of these are so beautiful. I love using them, but they're not highly, highly, highly pigmented. When you swatch them, they're not going to kick up powder. They're not going to put an intense swatch. And that's why I like to use a more denser brush because it will pick up a little bit more product and it will just blow it out so beautifully. So I really have been enjoying that for bronzer. And my other Morphe brush is an eye brush. And I saw, I don't even know who it was, it was another makeup artist. She was doing makeup on someone and she used this brush and I said, that looks very, very much like my Wayne Goss brush. It looked as soft as my Wayne Goss brush, which it's not, but it had the same kind of look to it. So when I went online, it did say it's sable hair, which is a natural hair and it is softer of the natural hair bunch. So Anyways, let's get to the brush. It's Morphe B79. And it is a crease brush, but it is a very short crease brush. It doesn't taper that much. It's gonna get out of focus that way. It doesn't taper that much, but oh my goodness, I love this brush. I've used it every day since I've bought it, with the exception of today, only because I only have one color in my crease. But what I'll do is I'll lay a transition color down, and then I'll go in and I will focus this on with my second color on the outer third of my eye and then buff it into the crease it blends so flawlessly you don't even it does it for you you know it kind of annoys me when people say that but this does it for you okay and it was five dollars again morphe b79 okay so those are all my brushes i only have one other favorite for the month and it's kind of random but i did a lot of traveling in um like plane traveling in june and july and i had two different issues of this and it really got me through my flight and i just wanted to share it if you don't know about it it is the new beauty magazine okay and i've heard of like the new beauty test too but i didn't really ever attribute it to like a magazine or a publication but this is the newest issue and unfortunately i think they only come out with these every quarter because this i got last month and it says display until september 26 so you only get four to five issues i think per month but it is chalk like i have so many dog ears on this it is chalk full of beauty advice from actual doctors from actual people that like know their stuff I get a ton of my skincare information from this magazine. I get a ton of my skincare finds from this magazine. And then in the very back, it has a plastic surgeon like directory. So it's really, it's geared toward the consumer that wants professional advice, not just something that, you know, the Cosmo editor decided she liked. No offense to that, but I want to know it's coming from like, an MD perspective. So I really, really, really enjoy this magazine. You know, it's a little more expensive. It's $10 an issue when you buy it on the rack, but you know, you can get a subscription or whatever, I guess. I just buy it off the rack. But just wanted to mention that because I love it and I think that anybody who's really into beauty and skincare would also really enjoy that. That's it, that's all of my favorites. I didn't make it any sooner, any quicker than the other months but some of you say you appreciate my longer videos and that's what you're going to get so uh i hope that you enjoyed this video be sure to go ahead and watch my anastasia foundation video i'll try to put it somewhere up on the screen i am doing a giveaway up until september 1st um for some foundation and lip glosses so be sure and watch that and enter do all the rules for the giveaway y'all are awesome thank you so much for watching and have a very blessed day